As is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. My name is Matt Ryan. I'm playing Edward Kenway in the game Assassin's Creed IV Black Flag. Edward's a, a quick-witted Welshman who leaves to seek his fame and fortune in Nassau at a young age. When we meet him, he's, he's brash, rude, very selfish. He's presented with these different opportunities and different versions and ideas of ways of living, and you don't quite know which direction he's going to go. And, and I think that's really an interesting dilemma. We're outnumbered, mate. It's not the first time, can we? And it won't be the last. My name is Mark Bonner. I'm playing Blackbeard. No dirty shot, I like the fact that nobody really knows who he was, you know, other than the fact he was fucking terrifying. Give your quarry something to fear, some hellish thing from a fevered dream, and men will drop to their knees, pleading for their lord. He understands the power of fear, and he knows how to use it to his absolute utmost. <laughs> Way to the mar. When Edward comes to this new world, Thatch has become like almost like a father figure to him. A man's a prick. And my name's Ralph Einson, and I'm playing Charles Vane. So this is the new Libertalia, eh? Stinks the same as every other squat I've robbed this past year. When they first meet, Edward has heard all the rumors about Vane, and he's obviously a little bit skeptical, but there comes a time when the two of them could make a really good pirating partnership. We can build a fire ship. He's a lunatic. He's the most instinctive and the baddest of the pirates. Don't come following now! Do you hear me? That's the beauty of playing a character like that. It's kind of like primal screen therapy. I'll gut you! I'll open you up! I'll rip out your guts! Tracer! At the end of the day, you kind of feel really calm. <laughs> this game is about a man who's, who's trying to find his way in the world. His character is in permanent conflict uh, all the time as to which direction to go in. And what's really interesting about playing that is that there's so many different levels to him. So, uh, yeah, you know, um, he's your ultimate hero. <laughs> <laughs>
artist, I've been working in the film industry for a couple of years and at this time the video games were not very well known. So now when I see that video games could inspire live action, I'm very excited. The good challenge about shooting a film like this is that the product that we're out It's like standing there in the middle of the game. <laughs> it sounds very easy, but uh, it's been quite a number to build. We've been building on the stages now for about three weeks. So the construction crew have been hard at it. If we want to talk about numbers, let's start uh, off the beginning. In construction, we had like 50 to 60 people working uh, all the time. In shooting, we are like to 160 people on set. It's a big one, as we call it. Explosion, uh, which will happen very soon, is very powerful because uh, have to be powerful in order to break the wall. Explosion! As we progressed further, we realised that it's quite interesting if you move the camera within each deck, it reveals more of the structure of the ship. What is interesting with this job is that we are not in a totally, you know, game world where everything is in control because it's generated per CGI. What we will do is to get as much as possible in camera, to have some real action. Stunts, yeah, lots of them. All of the cast in the film are pretty much stuntmen, about 70%. And those stunt guys need to be in exactly the right position at the right time so that they're not in any kind of, you know, more danger than they need to be. Um, it's my job to try and keep things safe, but also to make sure that we get something that looks great on film. So we did a 3D pre-vis of the entire move, so that the camera almost kind of follows the action that happens on the boat. And that seemed to make sense that we would then cut from this stage, and then the camera rises up to the next cannon deck, and then finally to build the top deck as a composite. The first set with the pool is uh, 3,000 uh, cubic meters of water, which is very big. You know, one of the pillars of the art direction of uh, Assassin's Creed is uh, to play in the brightness. But at the same time, what we really like is to play with contrast. So how do you appreciate the light if you don't have the darkness? So this reflects more these kind of dark moments we have in the game, this kind of very dramatic moment we have when we are in the naval warfare in the night. And it was a brutal time, you know, these guys didn't take hostages, they were there to plunder ships, steal gold and kill their enemy. And I think the game Black Flag really wanted to capture that and we wanted the same essence in our TV commercial. The film resonates in the game in the sense that it's a metaphor to show the evolution of the main character. He evolves uh, from a selfish, reckless pirate uh, to a more like a master assassin who embraces uh, a greater cause. I feel very excited about that film because it's the most uh, ambitious uh, live action trailer Ubisoft has ever made, so I'm very impatient to see and very excited to see what it will look like on the film.